how are you? I'm doing well. Shay, how are you? Good. So first of all, I have to say that I love you in blind spotting. Oh, thank and you so much. And I was watching episode one, and the whole time I was like, "Where is Earl? Why is he not on the screen?" <laughs> so thank you so much for what you do. And I wanted to start this off by saying, "How are you? Such a great actor." <laughs> oh man, that's uh, is that a, that might be a trick question? I don't know. Um, I can say that class being around other actors, being in community is is the key in having people who um people who care. But I don't know. I'm trying to be great. I get I don't know if that that, you know, I'm gonna receive that compliment because I'm I'm working on that. Me and my therapist talking about that. But uh class class, I was just it's something that came by me randomly. So I'm I'm thankful for it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know your character is going through a lot this season. Earl has been to jail twice now. Yeah. And um, he's still trying. He's still struggling, but he's still trying. And I wanted to ask, um, while he's trying to pass, look past his trauma and show up for others, can you talk a little bit about Earl this season? And can you talk about what it's like as a Black man to push through and show up regardless of whatever's going on? Yeah, um, Earl's ability to remain optimistic about the possibilities of the future, I think, is one of his greatest traits. Um, and I also think that sort of the difficulty of just showing up as a Black man is like nobody believes that you can do the thing, maybe outside of Black women. And that relationship um oftentimes can be troubled because the trauma that black men are going through causes them to antagonize black women and, and to make it a relationship that isn't tenable when it should be in so many ways so i am really excited about being able to see the way earl um has compassion and supportive support from a black woman in his life multiple black women in his life in in season two uh but i think that he's also resilient and that is something about black men that is beautiful to capture on screen that there's a sort of um it, it's frustrating to have to call on that superpower is almost what i want to say it's like damn i don't want to be so great like you know what i'm saying i don't want to have to tap into these resources but if you're gonna make me i'm a, i will i can but i think we would all prefer to not have to go to the extreme lengths right like i think Sometimes it really sucks to see how much you can take. Um, yeah. But Earl's like, yeah, I'm gonna give it to you anyway, though. It's all good, you know? Yeah. Are you anything like your character at all? Uh, in some ways, I I think mostly Earl is, is way more happy-go-lucky than I am. And I think uh, a bit less critical and cynical than I am. I think I, I can be... Uh, a lot more it's like it's fun to play a character where it's like oh I love, I'd like to be that guy you know that, that's cool yeah. I like that um but but also but also I think the thing that we share most is probably a love for people and community and understanding its value even when it like stresses us out um or if we might feel introverted but I think ultimately Earl really understands that like where the people are is where he has his that's where the power is and I think that's something I, I'm coming to understand more and more every day yeah so now in season two we do see Earl has a few things going on in his life and one of those things is seems like a catering business of his own yeah 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 that is awesome to see and it's great to see that he's like giving back to his friends and like helping them as well yeah. now Earl is always in the kitchen how about Benjamin? Are you always in the kitchen? Do you cook on a daily basis, or is that just? I, I do be. I be in there. I be in there. My brother. My brother is a chef, and um, and so so much of my life is influenced by my older brother, who can get down in the kitchen, and um, and my mom and dad both kind of gave us that love. So I be in there, but not as much as I want to. You know what I'm saying? Like cleaning them dishes after by yourself. You ain't got no help. 
That, Listen, I know, it, I know. It's hard out. You know what I'm saying? Uber just be Uber eats be so Woo. much easier. <laughs> Woo. So much easier. Man, it's hard to see, but it's so much easier. Right. Um, can we talk a little bit about Earl going to group counseling and what it's like to showcase a black man in therapy? Yeah. Um I think it sh- needs to just be seen as more normal. I think everybody um I love that Kendrick did this recently, right? In his in his video that Helen Mirren was in where he's having a whole therapy session and sort of throughout his latest album, he's really highlighting what it means to seek help. And I think the idea that as Black men, we can seek help, oftentimes it's told to us, but either we don't know what it looks like, or I think the complexities and the nuances of um, the difficulties of getting that help aren't really addressed, right? It's like, yeah, I, I need help, but if there's no other Black men in this space or no other Black folks, then I already know there's going to be an imbalance in terms of how I can operate or find healing in this space. Not that it can't happen, but just an imbalance. So I got really excited about being able to depict something as normal and not this really difficult task. He goes to group, but it's not something we ever see someone have to convince him about, because I think that's always like, oh, I'm not finna. And it's like, no, just go. It's, it's not that deep, my boy. Like, I'm going to see you later after this hour. You know what I'm saying? Got to see it through. Like, and I think that that's important. And I, and I got excited about Earl doing that, you know? And that was one of the things that I loved the most about that was getting to see him, like, just go. Like, yeah. not having the battle and struggle so other people can see that as well. Um, yeah. That's the time we have for today. So thank you for talking to me. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, and I look was. forward to seeing you in more things as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you.